Hello, I'm Sam Stovall, U.S. Equity Strategist for S&P Capital IQ. In this week's Sector Watch, found on www.getmarketscope.com, I discussed average market and sector performances during the fourth quarter of the year. Had the quarter ended on September 19th, when the S&P 500 recorded another all-time high, investors would have called this a bizarro or reverse image market. The S&P 500 was up strongly for the quarter and had posted May through September returns that were the opposite of midterm election year averages since 1945, rising when it usually fell and decline it when it usually advanced. In the past two weeks, however, investors have been reminded of Murphy's Law. The year in which one gives up on a reliable seasonal indicator is the year in which it starts working again. As we close the chapter on this quarter and begin to ponder the fate of U.S. equities in the period ahead, what could investors expect? Historically, the fourth quarter of any year is the strongest, gaining 3.8% in price since 1945 and rising 77% of the time. What's more, this seasonal strength persisted during midterm election years. In addition, all sectors posted average price increases since 1990, led by information technology and consumer discretionary, while the weaker performers traditionally were energy and utilities. Fundamental factors that we think could prove supportive of equity prices in the coming quarter include low interest rates, a gradually improving U.S. economy, favorable Q3 earnings and forward guidance, a lack of attractive alternatives, and a still high wall of worry. I'm Sam Stovall, and I'll talk with you again next week.